So you nervous about the fight? They're scared to death. You don't look scared? Well, you ain't supposed to. Then you don't have to do it. Yeah, well, I think I do. Y you know, living with you, it hasn't been easy. People see me, but they think of you. Now with all this going on, this is gonna be worse than ever. It don't have to be. No, sure it does. Why? You got a lot going on, kid. Oh, well, my last name? That's the reason I got a decent job. That's the reason why people deal with me in the first place. Now I start to get a little ahead. I start to get a little something for myself, and this happens. Now I'm asking you as a favor not to go through with this, okay? This is only gonna end up bad for you, and it's gonna end up bad for me. You think I'm hurting you? Yeah, in a way you are. It's the last thing I ever wanted to do. I know that's not what you want to do, but that's just the way that it is. Don't you care what people think? Doesn't it bother you that, that people are making you out to be a joke and that I'm going to be included in that? Do you think that's right? Do you? Well, hey, I didn't see <laughs> The Bradley fighting vehicle has been a keystone of the United States military since 1981. Named for World War II hero Omar Bradley, the M2 Bradley has been called by, has been called by many the tank killer. 2,300 M2s and M3s have been put into service into the U.S. military. It is a nine-man vehicle containing two gunners, one driver, and six passengers ready to kill. Weighing in at 25 tons with a 96-inch tread, the Bradley and its Cummins VTA 903T 8-cylinder 4-cycle VEE turbo supercharged Diesel engine gets 500 horsepower of pure American strength with over 1,000 feet uh, of torque and is 197 gallon tank. So Bradley is willing and able to go the distance and bring the smackdown on your enemy. Iraqis, no problem. Commies, even better. Terries, never stood a chance. We are talking about three guns, two turrets able to clean up the field before your six hardcore jughead heavily armored marines pop out to finish the job. The first weapon is your 25mm chain gun M242 Bushmaster. With 900 rounds of ammunition, the turret will destroy anything from the Republican Guard to the common foot soldier. A, a 7.62mm M240C machine gun sits coaxial to the turret to assist in the elimination of your enemy. But, oh no, they have a tank. What are we ever to do? Did we mention tank killer? That is where your dual TOW missile launcher comes in. Five bunker busting missiles traveling 3,750 meters to destroy the enemy tank before it even knows you are there. Light but strong and durable, armor allows the Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle to travel at 41 miles per hour. With smoke grenade launchers and thermal scopes, you can successfully eliminate targets in all conditions. A major piece of the infamous left hook, the Bradley provided an efficient way to transport troops and keep them alive for the ride. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. I'm always going to love you no matter what. No matter what happens. You're my son. You're my blood. You're the best thing in my life. But until you start believing in yourself, you ain't gonna have a life. Don't forget to visit your mother. 